Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. Tonight, I'm going to say a prayer for, for everyone so that we may all be blessed, especially during this Christmas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, we give you praise, especially for this special time of the year when we remember your gift to us, your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whom you sent as a child to bring joy and peace and love in our hearts. Help us to feel that warmth of your love so that we may always remain joyful. In spite of all the challenges we're facing, we know that you are with us and we have every reason to be grateful and to be joyful. Make us always realize that we are safe because we know you are with us, especially during this Christmas. Bless everyone. Bless all our families, our loved ones, our friends, and the whole world. And if it is your will, keep us always safe so that we may continue experiencing the joy that you give to us. And we may continue glorifying you, our loving God. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Father Romy. And a special welcome to all of our students and families here at Resurrection in our religious education program, and anyone else who might be joining us uh, to watch this uh, meditation for Christmas. We know that it's been a tough year, to say the least. And we know that there's been incredible challenges and obstacles and chaos that we've all dealt with. But we just want to thank all of you for being such an important part of our community. You are the community here at Resurrection. And we thank you for your prayers and your continued support. Uh, and we look forward to uh, better days ahead in 2021. Tonight, we just wanted to talk a little bit about characters entering a scene. Now, that may seem like an interesting topic, right? When I was a kid, as you can tell from my background in my home office, I was very interested in movies and television shows that depicted really exciting characters. Maybe the first character that I really, really remember as a young boy at the age of five was seeing Star Wars for the first time with my dad. And in that movie, there is a scene early in the original Star Wars Episode Four where Darth Vader enters the scene. And when he comes into the scene in the corridor, there's all this stuff going on. But as soon as you see this character, you know something is about to change. Now, in Darth Vader's case, maybe not always for the better, but... In all the other shows and TV shows that I love from my childhood, The Muppet Show, or more recently, Cars from Pixar, there are certain characters that just bring incredible joy and laughter to me. When anytime Fozzie Bear would come on the, the scene in uh, The Muppet Show, I always knew that yes, we were in for some corny jokes, and that's probably where I get some of my humor from today, but I always knew that I'd laugh. And I always knew that oh, I'd feel really good more about myself and even about others seeing how Fozzie Bear just loved to do what he could to make people laugh and be happy. Same goes for Mater. You know, Mater can uh, sometimes mess things up in the world of cars, but his character is always in the right frame of mind and the right heart to do what is right to help others. Now, you can think of today's modern movies, right? Whether it's... Wonder Woman, or Captain Marvel, and we can think about the moments we see these characters enter scenes, whether it's Wonder Woman in her original movie when she finally unveils herself to everyone around her and helps to defend her friends on the battlefield, or when Captain Marvel shows up at the end of Endgame and she's there to give the Avengers just that little bit of extra help in their fight against Thanos. We can think about how when certain people enter our lives, we're given hope, and we're given the ability to know that things are going to be okay. Now, if you're fans of The Mandalorian, and around here we are, I have my little Grogu character right here. You know that in last week's 
season finale of the second season of The Mandalorian, a certain character showed up in the final scene. I won't tell you who it is in case there are spoilers and you haven't seen it yet. But let's just say that this character is a beloved character in the Star Wars universe. And for anyone who grew up or has grown to love the Star Wars universe now, they know the hope and the courage that this character represents. So when this version of the character shows up in The Mandalorian at the end, there's a scene where a lot of the main characters are scared. They don't know what's going to happen next. They fear for their lives. They're not sure how everything's going to turn out. And when this character shows up, everyone is relieved. And they really understand that things are going to work out and go on for the better. It's not unlike the story 2,000 years ago, where people were scared, they were waiting for things to get better, and everything that they had known about their lives pointed to someone showing up to make everything right. Christmas is nearly here. All are waiting and are expecting, and our patience is coming to fulfillment. This night began in the quiet of a desert much like ours, and in a small manger, a baby is being born. He is given many names, such as Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. But his mother and father remember the special name they were given. They name him Jesus, just as Gabriel had said. Our Savior Jesus is born to bring us his light, his peace, and his love. The shepherds in the field see a bright light coming toward them and receive the angel's announcement of Jesus' birth. They look at each other in amazement and hurry to find our newborn Savior. The angels are already above Jesus rejoicing and singing, Glory to God in the highest. Tonight we begin our song of praise to our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for caring for us and sending your angels to keep watch over us. Thank you for bringing us into your light and carrying us through our trials. Let us all lift our voices in praise to you. All is well. Alleluia. Now, many of you probably have a nativity set, maybe in your house, or you've seen online, uh, the depiction of Mary and Joseph and the infant Jesus. Every nativity set is like those scenes in movies and TV shows that I just talked about. They are the depiction of a character entering into the scene. Now, in this case, the character is God, and the scene is our world. So every time you look at nativity, think about how this depicts God entering into our world. The moment where God gets us fully and completely, he becomes one of us. And think about what that means for you today. Yesterday, I had a great conversation with a really dear old friend of mine who is right now experiencing some serious medical issues. And at the end of the conversation, I very much expressed my gratitude for this person, for everything that they did at the time in my life where they mentored me, and all the things that they made possible for the person that I am today. And I told them how much I love them. I told them how grateful I was for all of that. And I will tell you in a real, tangible way, God's presence was with us. So as you look around your families, you look around all the people that you love and your friends, the ones maybe that you won't be able to be with in person this year, think about how you can share your gratitude to them. It might even be forgiving them. Maybe there's something that you've been harboring, something that you've been angry about or disappointed in. Maybe you'll take the moment this year to forgive them. Or maybe you'll ask for forgiveness from someone. 
whatever that is, whatever way that we put aside all of the things that separate us and we focus on the things that bring us together and focus truly on the things that connect ourselves in the spirit and presence and grace of God, that is God entering into our world. On behalf of everyone here at Resurrection, we want to wish each and every one of our families the merriest of Christmases. We want you to stay safe and please remember to celebrate God entering into our world. Thank you.